What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today's Tuesday. It's uh, our first day off for our weekend, but coming into the store to do some work. We are getting a late start. As you guys know, I was here pretty late last night, so I slept in this morning. It is 4.16 p.m. and we just got here, so we're going to at least work for a few hours. Um, the issues that I was having last night, I think uh, the developer, Chris, I think he's resolved them, so I just need to update the system and then try again and we'll see if it's working properly. Um, Abby's with me today, Hi. looking super cute. You're dressed up <laughs> on our day off. And we're going to, we're gonna be here for a few hours and then we're gonna go grab some dinner and then we're just gonna head home and probably chill. I'm sure Abby will play more Horizon Zero Dawn. I've I will probably enter in more morning. stuff. Yeah, I'm Abby's like, already played this morning I got up and every like, night. <laughs> I got up and like, nine o'clock this morning and i played oh gosh and like okay. i didn't even come out of the bedroom until what like two nine. like two thirty or 2 30, three yeah so well, she's been playing all morning around 11 and you're like i'm really tired and i was like take a nap like, yeah i woke up i woke up and texted her and then because <laughs> you texted me a bunch and you woke me up oh i texted you about <laughs> those pins someone posted some like uh promotional n64 confused. pins in one of the Facebook groups, and Abby tagged me in it, but then also texted me like four things, so my phone was just going. I texted you two times. No, it was more than two. I texted you twice. My phone said, buzzing is what woke me up. I was like, "Let's okay, see it." There's three messages. Uh, it's right here. Well, okay, I didn't. I can't show all of it. There's, there's at least three. <laughs> it says, "Just tag me on Facebook posted." There's a bunch of N64 Air promo pins, like the ones you've been buying. There's three banjo, silicon, and LOZ Ocarina of Time. So I think people are probably a little bit confused. Um, about what? About like you, okay. So. You're confusing me by saying people are confused. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about something different. Um, right now, since we have the entire house to ourselves, um, our bedroom is, was downstairs. Um, however, Hope, the big dog, um, she does not get along with cats and especially in like small areas, like she'll be fine if they, she has enough in. room. <laughs> oh no, let's just wait. Scoot it over. She'll be fine if like she has enough room to move around, but if she doesn't, she gets really aggressive towards the dogs. Should we go say something? No, he walked away. <laughs> he, um, he came up and read the sign. But as you guys know, like <laughs> dogs are really, really social animals. So we're already gone eight hours a day. And then like we come home and I let them have outdoor time as long as they want. Um, but I am staying upstairs with them because they they can't be alone. So the dogs and I are sleeping upstairs for right now. And Cooper doesn't like the bed that's upstairs. It's and too small. <laughs> it's a queen. Okay, we have a California king downstairs. Okay, and the dogs do sleep on the bed, so... <laughs> exactly. Sometimes we go to hotels, and we have to sleep in a queen bed, and it's not comfortable. Okay, that's because I, like, hog the pillows and stuff. Exactly. But anyways, we're gonna, like, we're moving the bedroom upstairs, but for right now, Cooper is downstairs, and that's why, like, I didn't wake him up or anything when I got up. Um, I've been staying upstairs. This is <clears> not, like, it's not, like, a weird, like, we're breaking up thing. It's just, like, <laughs> that's, like dogs are really social animals and i wouldn't be able to be okay with like leaving them up there overnight then during the day and all that stuff so i like to spend as much time with them as possible whereas cats are a little bit more like don't care if you're here type thing well the cats kind of just have free roam of the house anyway we have like a like a baby gate thing at the top of the stairs so the and the cats get into the game room. yeah so the dogs cannot go downstairs the cats can um but we can't like, we don't let the dogs have free reign of the house at night. We can't or let the dogs. The we can't let the dogs have free reign of the house by themselves ever because they will chew stuff up. Hope will chew stuff up. Homer is fine by himself. They'll chew stuff up and Hope they is will. Really bad about it. And they'll Hope, like get into the garbage and stuff. My God, no, that only happened when my parents were there and they <laughs> left stuff out. But another thing is like we also have like a sliding glass door, and Hope has like hit the door so hard because like she saw somebody in the backyard one time when my parents were still living there and she hit the door so hard it knocked it off the hinges so we like she can't we can't leave them out to roam because she will break that sliding glass plus door. they would also just stand at the door barking all day because they would see a squirrel, squirrel. or something <laughs> they do that all the time 
Like, we let them out, and there's, like, trees in the backyard on the right-hand side, like, big, really tall trees. And <clears throat> as soon as they go out, out the back door, they run to those trees, and they're all looking up, like, looking for squirrels and stuff. It's pretty, pretty funny. But, um, so, yeah, we're going to get some work done. I don't really know how much we have to show. We did have a couple packages um, in the mailbox. They're just smaller ones. So maybe we will open those as well. We might as well do that right now. All right, so I uh, looked up on the computer um, to see what was delivered. Um, so this isn't gonna be a surprise for us, but it you know, will be for you guys. Um, we still have, I think, four packages coming from like eBay stuff. Five, including a customer one. Well, only four eBay ones. So this one is a customer order. Um, so this customer came to us looking for a game. Oh my God. I know, I already showed them pictures of it. It has a lot of paint cracks. Uh, but a customer came to us looking for this game, obviously a GameCube game. We did not have it, but Abby told them like this game has gone up in price. They just wanted it to play. They didn't care about having a case. So Abby told them like, you should probably be able, to be able to find it for around this price. I wouldn't pay more than this. And it was like 80 bucks or whatever. They for a disc up, only copy, yes. Yeah, they ended up buying one somewhere for 130, Amazon. got it, and it didn't work. So they brought it here to resurface, but it still wouldn't work after resurfacing, right? It had a ding in the side. So, <clears throat> so we offered to find them a copy um, for cheaper, um, so we did that. And test it. Yeah, and that is Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. And it's they, got paint cracks on the bottom, though. They know that it has paint cracks, so I told them it wasn't pretty. They said they didn't care as long as it plays. Yeah. So that one, that we're going to That was $95. I know. So we're going to get that one tested, and hopefully it's all working and the customer will be happy. And then this one is actually for the store, and this one's going to be a little little bit of a cooler one. I gotta be extra careful with the box cutter now. Since oh, I did yeah. that. We're close. Do you wanna go turn that off? Cause it's just gonna go on forever. <clears throat> there was some guy who tried to come in too. And we believe he was probably on drugs. He was not happy that we were closed on the days that we're normally closed. Yeah, he was trying to like come in and I, I walked up to the door. I didn't open it because I don't have a mask with me right now. And I was just like, sorry, we're closed. And he was like, he was what like. What kind of BS hours are those without saying BS? Yeah. And he was like, that's effing stupid, blah, blah, blah. And like he was like full on throwing a temper tantrum like a child what a would. Baby. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> so. It's mm. loose in there. GameCube case. It's not very scratched, so that's good. But it's a disc for Fire Emblem. The reason that we grabbed this is because we have this. We got this from Richard, and now we have a complete copy to sell in the store. So that's pretty cool. The manual does have like a crease right here, a couple creases there, crease down there, little crease up here. So it's not perfect, but overall it's and not have bad. A case now. Yeah, an extra GameCube case with a... It's probably a sports game. Does that say officially licensed collegiate product? So it's like an NCAA yeah. football game or something. But we have a complete Fire Emblem, which is awesome. I can't remember exactly what we, what we paid for the case because it came in a bundle. This was like the good case. This is the only good case in the bundle, but there was like, there was like, I don't know, six or seven GameCube ones, and then like a bunch of Xbox 360 and stuff. Um, but we paid, I think it was 150 for the disc, and I think we paid like 40 bucks for all the cases. Like I said, this one being the only really special one. Um, so, you know, I told I told Richard my offer would be the same if it was just this case by itself or it was all of them. Um, so we're into this about like 90 bucks and I can't remember what they're going for. That disc was more than $90. 190. Okay. 190. I was like, 
what? <laughs> I think a complete one's like 250-ish, somewhere around there. So either way, that'll be awesome. So let's get to work and let's go get some food after. So we got this stuff figured out, guys. Um, the issue that we were having, just to simplify it, is that um, we ex we scanned all the games, exported them into a an Excel spreadsheet, changed all the conditions in there in bulk, and imported them back into the system. At what at, at which point it like prints the price tags, but the price tags were printing with the incorrect prices. So I would price something at five bucks and it would print it at eleven ninety nine, which doesn't even make any sense. So the developer got everything fixed. We did a test. It's all working. We now have reprinted all the tags here for all of these Xbox 360 games. These are all ones that do not have manuals or have some sort of other condition issue. Anything that caused us to give it a different UPC code. So there's all the new prices on here. This whole thing. They are in order as well. Um, they're not in alphabetical order. Mostly they are, but um, they are in the order of these stacks. So once we put the tags on, it should just be first tag goes on there, second tag goes on there, and so on. It'll be really quick and easy to do that. Uh, but it took a long time to get this stuff done. Uh, the developer was not available right away, so we were here for like a couple hours just kind of waiting around. So I just did a little bit of cleaning and took some pictures for eBay and stuff. And now... We're going to be going to get some Din Din. Hi. Hi, Arya. We're home. We're home, kitten. She looks like she's ignoring you. She is ignoring me. What a jerk. Oh, got a little scratch. <laughs> Zelda, come here. Hi, baby. Aw, you're so cute, Zelda. Are the puppies getting treats? Yeah. It's so dark in here. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hopi. <gasps> Sit. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> Can't even catch. Stealing treats and can't catch. Hi, Hopi. You're a good girl. I'm also probably gonna feed this guy. Girl. You're gonna feed? Yeah. I have to catch a roach first. Please don't like bump into the table or it won't go underneath. Okay. Trigger warning. Abby's gonna, gonna feed her tarantula. My beard was like going up like this and it made it look really weird. I'm to, like, but Abby's gonna feed the tarantula, so if you don't want to see a little cockroach get eaten by a tarantula, don't watch. Uh, she's gonna go down there. She's going down there. Oh, she went. Gone. On. She okay. went real fast. So I don't know what all you're gonna be able to see. Oh, it's sticky. I need you to hold the camera right here. You need it to be right there. Yeah, so you guys can see inside her little den. Yeah, get out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, go that way. Go. What? She got it. Oh, oh, there you go. This is everything that I have done so far for my next pickup video. This box right here, which has all sorts of stuff. That's the box. I just entered that entire thing tonight. I'm probably going to do a little bit more, but I actually have most of it done. I have a small box of stuff at the store that I forgot to bring home today. I was going to. And then I still have some stuff upstairs, which is where it's been. Mostly it's bigger stuff, kind of like this. There's some other box consoles, some bigger accessories in the box, and it looks like a lot more, but there's way more in this box than there is upstairs. So... Mostly it's just big box stuff. It won't take super long to do. There's a chance that I might be able to film my pickup video tomorrow, but I'm not really counting on it. It's getting kind of late, and I'm getting kind of tired. All right, guys, I'm super tired. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's time for me to get to bed. 
Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.